shape that you need to actually make it. Mm. A shape. And we just blow into it. It's beginning to swell up. Yeah. Just getting into a shape that you need. Does it have to be done when it's very hot? Yeah, yeah. So now you're shaping just, itself. Just shaping them, uh, actually making the bullseye for the front. And that's the bit that would form yeah. the little sort of bullseye when yeah. it's finally done. All bullseye. And just cut, cutting in the back. So this is where you're not getting enough the iron after you've knocking off knock, the iron. Knocking off the iron, knocking the glass off the iron. But when you Ready for spinning out. You have to do it a bit at a time. Yeah, yeah, very, just very slowly. Working up, working up. How long did it take you to learn to do this? Um, a lot of years, but you've got to learn everything, every process slowly. Why are you putting up like that? So it's, it, it it's just comes so down. It, so it comes all even. Yeah. You had an apprenticeship, did you, or not? Um, no, you just, no. just learned. The last bit was just thrown in at the deep end. Oh, yeah. You have to learn. <laughs> it helps if, you, if you've got a master about the teacher. Yeah. Which there are very few and far between. Are they? But you uh, have a. Yes, I had a, I had a very good one. What's happening now? We're just making a punty just to stick on the end. Why do you do that? This is so we can we work back to front. Right? So this becomes the iron now. Oh, I see. When we're finished with this. I just put the water on so it yeah. helps it come off. It's difficult to do it and talk to me at the yeah, same it's time. Really, so yeah. if I'm interrupting, just stop, stop the iron. Side, never use the middle, and that's where the bullseyes originated from. I see. 
cool people use the mills. Now I see it going all about and over the years. History turns it uh, turns itself around. And now now the middles are fashionable and the outsides are no good. <laughs> Extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, you see old reconstructed pubs and so on with yeah. all these pool sizes. Mm -hmm. So here we get the nice the, the dish in the middle. Here's the, the old fashioned bulls are when you said they used the outside, what would they do? Would they, they cut it? They would just put small pieces out of it and let it all together. Oh, I see, to make a window. Yeah. Just probably in, in Tudor terms, they used it as a diamond shape. That was it. Is this the only way to get flat glass like this? No, you can also make the cylinder form, the, what they call muffs. And um, that's grown into a big, large, long cylinder and split and opened. With a large ship plus there. We'll have to dump this in a minute. Alright. Where shall we put it, Alex? Yeah. Shut here. Yeah. So you just put it, it's all about time and, and when to knock things So it's off. very so precise. It's, yeah, so, it's, 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 so it doesn't break. Yeah. And um, then it's annealed. And then cut, cut accordingly to whatever when you, size. When you say annealed, what, what it's, that? it's cooled down slowly. It's a general process of so a glass cup suffers from thermal shock. So it's just cooled down. It's cooled down very, very slowly in a, either an oven or a layer yeah. on, a, on, a, on a belt. So it, it moves very slowly through its heating zones. So, it cools, so when it cools down, it's ready for cutting and whatever you want to do with it. How many could you make in a day, or would a, a glass it, blower make in a day? It, it all depends what, how big you make the piece because the larger the piece of glass is, the longer it takes to cool down. So obviously, you, you make less. But the smaller the piece, the more you can make. So, uh, but well, that took about five minutes, so you can make. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you make larger ones up to three, four foot, then obviously they're going to take a lot longer. But smaller ones take small legs, shorter legs. You can time. make them how big? It all depends. It depends, it depends on, the on your facilities. Yeah. If, you've got the, if you've got the right facilities, you can make them anywhere they work. Sometimes it can go five feet. How long do you think, I mean, I don't know when um, this kind of giant glass was made from. It's, it's pretty old, isn't it? It must be. Yeah, it's one of the, the original ways of making flat window glass. Because, I mean, the glass blowing was invented just before the birth of Christ. Did the Romans make the crown glass? Mm, Romans never never used glass for windows at all. Um, they didn't was, make crown, crown glass? No, it's, uh, it, I think it was originated in France, mm. where, the, where they first made it, which a few like hundreds of years ago, and then they made the cylinder glass as well. Mm. And then it was orig originated in France, and just dispersed around Europe. Would they stuff. make the, the stained glass for, for stained glass yes, windows? Yes, the stained glass all originated mm. in France. And was brought, and was brought over this, to this country by um, a man called Benedict Biscop, who was based in Southern, and he, and he invited the French glassmakers over. Well, that was very early, wasn't it? Um, it was in the 7th century, yes. So 7th century, B. Uh, yes, well, um, B generally gets credit, yeah. all the credit, but uh, it was actually Benedict Biscop who invited the Frenchmen over to make, to make all these the glass for his for his monastery. Do you think that was cylinder. sort of flat glass like this? Yeah, it was the cylinder glass. It was we made, it made, made in a cylinder glass or a crown glass way mm. to make all the. So from glass. the seventh century, anyway, that's about it was. So it was after the Romans and. Oh yes, but in, um, well, we've been making glass in France for a few hundred years, yes. but actually none really made in in England mm. until he invited them all over to 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 make the stained glass for his. His monastery in Bishop Way Mouth in Summer. Yeah, from where, near where you come from. From it? where I come from. Yes. And, um, very appropriate. And still, still making it to this day. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, So you've made it absolutely magical watching it. I mean, I've never seen this before. And that, that moment when it starts to swell out, it's rather like as a child when you were blowing a balloon mm -hmm. and suddenly it was no longer a little shriveled thing and it suddenly sort of expanded. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, that other magical moment when you split it and it started spreading outwards like this. Yeah. It was like playing with plasticine. Mm -hmm. you know, just, just on its centrifugal force, you just mm. spin mm. and it just uh, over now. Mm. You've got to be very careful not to 
at an angle with which you work your glass mm. because it will come and fold back on itself or it will dish it too much mm. and you get like you can go from one extreme to the other you've got to keep, try and keep it nice mm. and flat all. But for century after century the only way for a thousand years, more than a thousand years, the only way was to make it like this. To make it. And the consequences, I mean one of the extraordinary things is that only one civilization in the world went for windows. And the Romans, as you said, had very few windows. So Greeks and Romans didn't have it. Um, Islam and the Islamic civilizations didn't have windows. The Indians didn't have windows. The Chinese didn't have windows. The Japanese didn't have windows. All the great civilizations of the world have got on tolerably well without windows. And just us in this cold, miserable northern climate went for windows. Yeah, but um, as you say, it's not coincidence that it's probably northern France, which is pretty wet but quite rich. Yeah. Where, and then there's no coincidence that cold part of the country from which we've come, they decided that the monasteries should have windows in them because the wind was howling through. Well, uh, well uh, maybe it was more for religious needs mm -hmm. to put their beliefs yes, into, into, glass. In, into glass and the, the way it's, it's still been done for centuries now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably. That, that was the way that it wanted to do it. To the, to the glory of God. So yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Bef 